guys, so um, it's laid out, so I got my work at a really good time. I'm going to run through my day really quick because there's something else that I wanted to touch on. So for breakfast, I just had a bowl of cereal because the house was really hectic this morning trying to get Kyle out and me ready and Chris ready. Um, so I just had a big bowl of cereal and a glass of water. And then um, I worked 9 to 3 today. So I got my, since it's a Monday, uh, it was pretty steady, but I got my break in at 1. And I went to Subway and got a 6-inch roast chicken sub on honey and oat bread with loads of veggies and I always get the fat free honey mustard um, I really really like that so I get that on it and I just had it with water like I always ask for just a cup for water and they always give like these little mini styrofoam cups which I think is kind of ridiculous um, so I just had like a gajillion of those styrofoam cups with water and the water is ice cold and I've been so used to drinking my water like um, room temperature that it was really shocking to like try to drink that water really, really cold. Um, I just find it easier to drink water at room temperature. Um, and then I haven't had dinner yet, um, but I'm about to make it. But I got home, I did a crap load of cleaning, and, um, and then because the back of the red is on tonight, and I knew if I got comfortable and watched that, then I would just, I wouldn't work out. Um, do you guys watch The Bachelorette? Because I do, and um, I'm really excited about tonight's episode, which if you're watching this, it would be yesterday's episode. Um, Bentley is going to be at the hotel, and I I am like, you're an idiot. You're an idiot lady. Would you be like, oh my god, whatever. I'm just, I'm really excited to see the episode, though, because he treats her like a piece of shit, <laughs> and she's such a naive dummy. But anyways... For dinner, I'm going to have just some spinach salad with um, canned tuna on top. And um, so that would be good. But the workout today was really good. I'm still, like I do most of it in the advanced. Because of my dancing, I still have a lot of muscle memory. So I have really strong legs. So anytime we're standing and we're doing something with legs or we're squatting, I'm always doing the advanced version because my legs are really strong. Or if we're doing the crunches or we have to bring the leg up, and then bring it all the way down to two, basically two inches above the ground. Like, f I'm fine with that. I really, really like that. But my upper body is so weak. <laughs> um, so whenever I have to do anything in a plank stand, it's really hard on me. So I always, I try to do a few of it in the advanced section. But for the most part right now, I'm still doing the um, regular, um, regular one not the advanced and I'm finding it really difficult to do anything in the plank stand for a long period of time like the the very last cardio workout is really really intense like you do um, this plank plank stand thing and then you do these like butterfly squats um, and then you get down and you do these oh it's a uh, one minute of abs but it's like in a plank stand and then you lift your knee and twist your body and I've yet to even be able to do one, to be honest. Um, I get so exhausted with the last cardio, the, uh, the last two minutes of cardio, that by the time I have to get down to a plank stand again, my upper body is just completely done. So what I do instead is I do... Um, the abs with my leg raised, like the same abs that we did in level one for the last minute, I do that. And each day I'm trying, so I'm hoping that within the next few days, um, or the next two days kind of thing, I'll be able to do a few of those oblique turns, but I'm just not strong enough yet. Um, every time I try, like my arms shake and I fall on my face. So, um, you know, she says in it, I want you to feel like you're dying. Like, it's true. Like, I, sometimes I scream and Chris laughs at me because I'm like, I feel like I want to kill myself. Like, I, it's it's intense. Um, but it's so great. The only thing that's depressing is that, like, when you're in the um, plank stand, like, your stomach comes out. And you, like, like, my stomach, I didn't think looked that bad when I'm standing, you know? But when I'm down in a plank stand, it, like, gathers in the middle and, like, hangs like a little porker I'm like oh, man I just want that gone you know so it's one more thing to motivate me to 
you know, get my ass in, in, in gear and keep this. Um, so something I wanted to touch base on, which is diet. Um, I mentioned yesterday that I had a hot dog for lunch, and one of you guys had, had told me about hot dogs, and, and I knew that they were processed meat. You know, I, I know that. Um, but I'm, I feel like diet is a really terrible word um, because it's a, something you do to lose weight and then once you've lost the weight it's like you stop the diet and then you go back to eating whatever or I don't know what and then you usually gain it all back. I'm looking at a lifestyle change, at a healthy lifestyle change. Um, and with that comes no depriving myself of anything, but making smart, moderate choices and decisions in what I put into my body. And doing it in a realistic way that isn't necessarily cutting it all out one day and um, just stopping. Because then you're going to, that is when you're going to fail. And that is when you're going to feel like you're missing out on things. Okay. If I feel like some candy or if I feel like a sweet tooth, I'll eat a little bit. I'll eat like a, you know, an individual candy. I won't sit down and eat what I used to eat, which would be like a well, shitload of chocolate. Um, you know, I, I, I found ways to get my cravings in check and to make healthy decisions. But like I said, you know, I went to my mother-in-law's house and I'm not going to have her give me special treatment um, so instead you know I had a hot dog you know I, I wanted like four they were little you know little hot dogs and they're so good and you can eat like five of them I, I could have but I didn't I was moderate about my choice and then I had loads of veggies and grapes and water I feel like that's what you have to do you know you because then it becomes just to have it, and then it becomes a lifestyle. Um, I never feel like I'm missing out. I, you know, yes, yesterday morning I felt like I was missing out on the bacon and eggs, but I was just as satisfied with my smoothie, and I didn't feel like bad. Do you know what I mean? Because you know what, if I wanted some bacon, I would have had it. You know, you have to remember that to succeed, you have to, to succeed at a pace that works for you. And the pace that I'm working at is working for me. You know, just the fact of getting liquids in my body in general has been huge for me. And um, so I just want to say, like, never deprive yourself of anything. I read Portia de Rossi's book, um, Unbearable Light. I got it for Christmas. I really wanted it. And it, it was all about her eating disorder. And I struggled with a slight eating disorder when I danced because you had to be really, really small. And it was unhealthy. And I don't ever want to get to that point again. And, you know, you're beautiful no matter what, but know that your, what you put in your body does affect you, but never deprive yourself of anything. There was, there was the one thing that really hit me about that book was at the very, very end when she was talking about how she ate whatever she wanted in the sense that she didn't sit down and eat and gorge in herself, but it will always be there tomorrow, she said. So, if you want some chocolate, have a little piece of chocolate. Don't gorge chocolate. Have a little piece. Get that little craving. If you want more, it will be there tomorrow. You don't have to have it all right now. Because the beautiful thing about where we live you know, in the States and Canada and, and, you know, and stuff, is that there's plenty of food to go around and it will always be there tomorrow. So that was a huge thing that I took away from that book. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to eat what I want, but I'm going to make good choices to put myself on a healthy lifestyle track for me. So... Yeah. Anyways, that's all I'm going to say about that. Hope you guys have a great night. And if you watch The Bachelorette, um, leave me comments underneath this video about it too. 
so we can chat about it because I love chatting about The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. Like I feed off that. Like tweet me about it, Facebook me about it, like anything because I like fiend for The Bachelor and Bachelorette. Um, anyways, I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.